Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing quite well myself. A little reminder that my Discord is open. The link is down below if you guys would like to join the community that's budding and growing down there. Or if you would like to support me on Patreon, that's there too. Um, I'm really, really excited to post the Deep End. It's finally working for me. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the Deep End is so broken right now in terms of the snapshots. Um, it's just impossible for players to get on at the same time. So I kind of have to only be on when there's no one else trying to record. So we're here. And I actually have uh, it just happened to pop by Stacy's um, Stacy's little base because I was trying to get back this little parrot that I had tamed and left here. But then I realized that there was another parrot that was here, so I ended up taming that parrot. And then I saw this beautiful creature in the distance, which was this ocelot. Now, as far as I'm aware, in the new snapshot, you can't tame ocelots which is insane and kind of cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this ocelot to spawn or to uh, to someone's base basically and find wherever I left my name tags and uh, name this ocelot and bring it back to my base. Cause I'm excited to have a ocelot in my house. I think it'd be kind of cool to have an ocelot and I will come back for you guys and hopefully when I come back there'll be another parrot because honestly I would love to have more parrots in my par in my par paradise. Um, if you guys didn't know, I transformed my par paradise into a wonderful, absolutely wonderful uh, <laughs> chicken farm area. So there's all kind of birds in there. So we're gonna bring this uh, ocelot back to our base and um, see if we can name tag it. Oh, I should probably start building up a, a pig farm as well. I need to just get more on the deep end. Honest to God, I need to be <laughs> I need to just be doing more. Okay, let's keep going and seeing what happens with this. Okay, I'm just at my base now and I want to get inside because it is night time. I did find a name tag and I named it Gloom for now and then we will design a new kind of area for it soon. Ooh, I have a lot of terracotta. Nice, okay, I will need that. Um, let me make a cute little area for this little guy first of all. So let's do, say, ugh, what, what, it's kind of... Oh, I hate this. I built my base in such a design that like I wish I had like sand now to do kind of like a, a weird Like pattern over here. Oh, do you know what? I'll just for now I guess I will because I, I want to build a cute little area Okay, let's do that there then let's put those in there and then we'll do like that Okay we, oh, no, 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 I'll put you back in here, perfect. And then I'll put my spruce fences over here. Oh, I feel so bad just popping it in here. Like, oh, it won't go there because it'll get out. Damn, okay. Uh, it'll just have to go in this little, like, section, this little weird section. If I put two there, and then I put that there. Oh, it'll be, it'll be a good area for now to keep this ocelot in. So can I break this okay now come with me gloom because i thank thankfully i can i can um thankfully i can use my leash on you come on come on come on come on, come on. yes okay so you can come in here yes i've got a random ocelot perfect so then we have an ocelot like a random untamed ocelot in my base which I'm excited about because I'm all about that rare collector ace. Now, I uh, actually have a lot of materials here that I'm going to be using for building the new, um, the, the, the panda cafe. So I'm excited to get going with that, but I just need to sleep and get more, uh, get more resources than that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to do a little bit more and try and see where we, what we're, what we're doing. So let me just sleep and let me just, uh, get my things in order and I'll meet you over at spawn. Guys, I've gathered everything I need to get. I've done it. I even moved back my my beautiful little um, uh, parrots back over. And I did find, it was like, I, I don't know if, if I still have him. I think he's back at the house. Yeah, he is. I found this random villager just like floating in the middle of the ocean while I was gathering ink sacks. And uh, he was called Bait. So I've uh, <laughs> I've taken Bait back to my base and I'm gonna give him a really cool name. Oh my God, why is there so many like squids after spawning? I literally spent two hours just swimming around and I found three squids and all of a sudden five spawn in front of me. Are you kidding me? This is how broken <laughs> the deep end is. Like, are you kidding me? I spent two hours literally looking for you guys and I found three and you're telling me that there's like, that you guys are just gonna, just gonna spawn here now. Like, like just, you, that's just, that's just how it works. 
Like, do you know how long I spent looking for you guys? Oh my gosh. I I feel like such an idiot. Do you ever just feel like that where you're just like, oh my god. Like, because I did. I spent literally two hours. I was going to give up soon. I was like, do you know what? I'll just build with the resources that I have right now <laughs> and see how far I get. I am so annoyed. I am literally so annoyed. So if you guys didn't know, I'm building the Panda Cafe right now. And I go to see how it turns out. I have this really cool rainbow kind of underwater panda themed exhibit. And a bunch of you guys were like, no, Daddy, build it over water. No, this is the deep end. We're building things in the deep end of the ocean. <laughs> and screw the pandas. They'll live underwater forever. Uh, it actually has like a really cool design. And I think having a panda exhibit underwater will probably set the deep end like apart. Um, unique wise from other SMPs who probably won't have a panda exhibit underwater. Now, uh, the design that they have is pretty darn big, I'm going to say that. So instead of building it over there, I'm going to position it over here, uh, whereas this is where I wanted to place it in the first place. So it's going to take up this entire area here. It's pretty, pretty big. I have a lot of resources down here. As you can see, I have white wool, the black wool here. I even have some more stuff in here if I need to make some more, uh, if, I, if I need to make some, some more concrete. I also have three shulker boxes full of beautiful clay in all the colors of the rainbow. Actually, I should probably, um, yeah. Actually, I need to put you there. There. So I have red, gray, orange, yellow. Then I have green, light green, and light blue. Purple, purple, and like blue, purple, and magenta, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my design, and we're going to see how we do. Now, because it's like such a big area, and because it's very, very just strange looking, I am going to build it up um like down into the water a little bit i said up but I, I, like as you can see i put a conduit there so that we could build here but i think i'm gonna build it like here in the water like just have it like like the entrance like here maybe and then what i will do is we can just we can change it around in terms of like where we want everything else to go and i think it'll just be cool let me just get rid of these guys oh my gosh i need to get myself a really nice trident that's what i need to do so i'm gonna pop on my uh my little uh diamond boots my leggings and my helmet and then we're gonna come over and we're gonna take out the wood which is one of the main things we need we need the lime glass which is also one of the main things that we need the spruce planks and we need this black concrete powder which is going to take like a big thing we need the red stained clay i also need um where is it i need this red clay as well um i think that's everything that i need probably right now um i do have a picture on my phone because i did build this in a solo world just so i was aware of like what i wanted to do and what i needed to get done so uh, I think I'll do the sandstone first of all, which will be over here. So this will probably be like the entrance of it. So let me put like sandstone there. Um, and then it's going to have like like that there. So the lime gra glass is going to come up like this. I need this one here too. So that'll do like that. Um, there we go. I think that comes out like that, right? Perfecto. And then I need this spruce wood, which is... Oh, they're actually in front of it. Like this. Perfect. And then I think what I did was I put, like, like just sandstone um, all around here. Because I thought that was kind of... I don't know. I, I think I thought it was unique or something. If I had, like, sand, sandstone framing it, as you guys can see. So it doesn't look like much right now. But if we put another little uh little little block here now bear in mind this is not gonna be you know like amazing like oh my god like this is a fantastic panda entrance like you guys gotta give me time to shape this up and form it uh, as we as we go so i'll do the same thing here on this side um i'll put one down in here the glass will come up like this and then we'll put another like that and then that is going to be kind of the, the the entrance of it, but we're going to have to build this underwater panda that I've got uh, that I've got envisioned. So I will start framing that out, and uh, I will get back to you guys uh, in in increments if that if that's if that's a okay. Okay. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this looks like a heart with wings, but you're wrong. <laughs> 
Okay, basically, I'm going to be building the design, but you're going to have to give me a few minutes. Like, it's going to take a little while to get this design all done and ready. So, I, I will... I, I, I'll get back to you guys, okay? <laughs> give me a second. So, we left you with a floating heart. And now, you've got a panda! <laughs> Does it look cute? I think it looks super cute. So it's basically an underwater panda that's scuba diving, holding a little love heart above the panda exhibit. Uh, so that's kind of what it is. And I, I didn't, I, I, when I was building this, I didn't estimate the, basically, the, the water level. Um, so some of it does come up above the water, but that's okay. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's actually kind of cool that it does that. So I'm going to build out these little things here now, which are going to be like serve as the front walls as basically the exhibit. And, uh, hopefully it'll look super, super cute. Now the walls of the exhibit won't be finished. Like this whole exhibit won't be finished in one day. Like it's going to take me a few like times to do this, but I, th I thought it was kind of cool just to like show you guys a little snippet of how it's turning out. But I think the little scuba diving thing, it looks really, really cute. Especially with the fact that it uses the coral to, to, to do it. I, I don't know. I think that's really cool. Okay, on with the building. Ta-da! So you might think, Deli, nothing's changed. But I actually added in these little cloud textures down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a rainbow pattern that goes across this. And that's going to be the opening walls. And if we need like actual... Like, if, if, if we need windows, we'll just replace the blocks with, with uh, colored glass. But I'm going to add in rainbow walls here, and then I'm going to add in the next feature of this build, which is the big bamboo shoots! Ooh, it's exciting, it's exciting. Okay, I'm going to get to that, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll see how we do. Alright guys, so I've done the little bit of rainbow bits here. Now, it does look a tad extra. But guys, it's gonna get more extra. It's getting, it's gonna get better. So now I'm gonna build up these bamboo columns, uh, or columns that I've that I have made basically, and they are kind of really, really cool. I I built. I'm gonna build them with um. Let, where is my chest here? Where's my chest here? So I'm gonna put all these back because I'm using these for like a lot of builds here. So basically, I'm gonna be using uh, the dark green terracotta, lime terracotta, and then sandstone to kind of add like a little thing. And then at the top, I'm gonna to add in these like little leaves to represent the top of the bamboo, which I've actually like done on a single player world. And it looks really, really cool. Now, obviously that single player world, like I haven't, um, I don't f record in that world. That's just where I mess around creatively and just see what works and what doesn't work. So I actually ended up using this prismarine, um, which I think looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, blend in some of that and see if it works. And if, if it does work, then I can just make some more, which would be kind of cool. But I really like the way this looks. The dog, the panda, the llama, oh, it just looks good. Okay, I'm going to build up these little columns, see how they do, and I will talk to you guys in a while. Okay, guys, I've done as much as I can, really, at the moment. So, this is it. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty epic build, to be honest. It's, um, it's extra AF, but I, I, I really like it. I do like the fact that there's, like, these little bamboo poles that are, like, kind of growing. And they do look like bamboo poles. The only thing I don't like about it is how close I built it to Shelby's thing. I didn't think it would look that close, but it does. It kind of looks like it's after shoving her thing to the side. So if she really has an issue, I'll move it no problem. Like, I can move this, like, I can shorten this over. Like, that's not an issue. But I do think it blends in really, really well with the rest of the deep end bills. I think it does look pretty cute. And then if we come inside, you can see that I put like this cloud kind of look all the way down. So it's like bamboo with rainbows and pandas. And I, and I honestly think that that's really <laughs> what the people um, of the deep end will like. I do think that they will, I, th I think they will like it. The only thing, issue I can see is maybe Stacy or Shelby have an issue with how close it is. But honestly, like it's... It's, it's fine, like it doesn't inhibit, it doesn't obstruct their structure at all. Um, and that's why I wanted to build it here. So I think I'll build like another uh, bamboo pole maybe up here maybe, or even like down here, and then another one over here. So it'll be like a big circle that we like encompass. And then inside the panda kind of school or cafe, there'll be little like domes or little basically habitats where the pandas of each different type will have their own custom uh, kind of like area. Cause Grazer said that he wanted like a rare one for the brown panda. He said that he wanted a, uh, like a different place for each of the, he wanted a different place for each of the, um, 
there we go. He wanted a different place for each of the of the panda types, and I think this will be perfect because honestly, what's better than swimming around a freaking panda cafe? Like you could definitely swim around here, and I think it would look really really cute. Cool. Let me take off my uh my outfit. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I I don't know if I told you this, but I uh, changed my skin up a little to include a rubber ducky because I do end up dying a little bit, and I was really really tempted. I was really tempted. I added also added in that white there. It's like a it's like sun, um, sun cream, if that makes sense. But I was really, really, really tempted to add in the goggles that were on the panda. Not onto my onto my eyes, but maybe just to have it above my head with like a little snorkel. I think it would look pretty, pretty cute. But all in all, I do think that this is a really, really, really cute build. And uh, I'm really impressed at how it's come so far. The only issue with it is I ran out of this lime green clay. Which honestly is what's stopping me from continuing this build. Um, that's the only thing that's stopping me from continuing this build. So I need to get some more of this prismarine block here. And then I need to get more of the lime green uh, clay. And I can do that because I've got a lot of clay back on my base. I literally just have to get the lime green uh, the lime green dye. And I get that from cacti and from bone meal. And stacy has got a really nice cacti farm. So as long as I like give her diamonds for it, I'm pretty sure I'm okay to use Use that as well because um, I've been giving uh, everyone kind of diamonds as well but uh, looking at the map I actually noticed I didn't notice that uh that Megan had finished her strawberry and it kind of looks like a berry it's like a strawberry it's it's not it's not it's like a red berry it's not really a strawberry so I wonder if like if she's gonna fix that or if she's keeping that um that thing there but I also noticed that everything here does oh Get away from me. Look how cute it looks in the distance. It just looks adorable. I think that looks adorable. Do you guys think that looks adorable? It's like a little, it's like holding up a little heart for you guys. Um, but anyway, like I think this area looks like pretty in uh, inhabited between like um, Log Dot Zip, Scott, me, H Bot. Please go away. Uh, Marielle over here. I would like to make some more bills here just for Marielle's sake. Um, I would like to make uh, make her a little bit more accessible or even like I, w I think that we could like um, perform a little magic uh, someday and straight up just move Marielle's house closer to spawn. Um, I would really like to do that, honestly. Like, that would probably be one of my favorite things to do, which would be to move Marielle closer. Uh, maybe even putting her base here, or even moving it in front of Yami's base, because I know Yami uh, doesn't really like do much of her base. So it would be kind of cool to put like um, Marielle over here, or maybe even move Marielle uh, closer to where Scott is, like over here, or even put Marielle over here where uh, where Shelby's base is, because uh, honestly, this area here is really use so between like Joey, Grazer, Afnow and Lauren this area here isn't used that much so if we transpose or transposed uh, Marielle over here I think it would look pretty cute <laughs> but I do like the fact that I'm not the only one down this area of the map I do like that but I just don't like the fact that she's so far away I really don't like that even if we move Marielle over here I think that would be cool just moving her to this little uh, brown island here I think that would be that that would be awesome but for now we're gonna say goodbye and uh hopefully uh in the next episode we should be able to get a lot of the deep end smp done i'm gonna try and post the deep end every single day uh this week so you guys can enjoy the deep end smp week <laughs> bye guys <laughs>